We will learn about working in Edubuntu. Let us understand how to change view of files or folders. Icons view. Click on the view items as a grid of icons button located on the top right corner of the home window. Or click on the view then go to icons option. The files and folders will be displayed as a grid of icons. List view. Click on the view items as a list icon located on the top right corner of the home window. Or click on the view then go to list option. The files and folders will be displayed in the form of a list. Let us understand how to sort file and folders. By name. Clicking on the view menu and select the option by name. The files and folders will be arranged in alphabetical order. By size. Click on the view menu and select the option by size. The files or folders will be displayed according to the size. The largest file or folder will be displayed at the last position in the list. By type. Click on the view menu and select the option by type. Files of the same type are grouped together and then sorted by name. Observe the files will be categorized according to the file extension. By modification date. To sort files by their modification date, click on the view menu and select the by modification date options. This option arranges files or folders in an ascending order according to their modification dates. Let us understand changing time and date. Click on the session indicator icon at the top right corner of the indicator area. It displays a drop down list of options. Select the System Settings option to open the System Settings application window. Click on the Time and Date icon under the System category. The Time and Date dialog box appears. To set the time manually, select the Manually radio button. You will observe that the Time and Date text boxes get active. Set the Time and Date as desired and click on the Close button. Let us understand configuring the mouse. Click on the session indicator icon and select the system settings option from the displayed list. The system settings application window opens. Select the mouse and touchpad icon under hardware category. The mouse and touchpad dialog box appears. Under the general section select either right or left radio button as the primary button. By default, left radio button is selected. To change the double click speed of your mouse, drag the slider towards left to make it slow and towards right to make it fast. Similarly, you can change the speed of pointer. To check the recent changes made in the mouse settings, click on the Test Your Settings tab present on the extreme right corner of the mouse and touchpad dialog box. Click on Close button to close the dialog box. Let us understand Suspended Sleep Mode. Click on the Session Indicator icon. Select the Suspend option from the displayed list. Your system turns inactive and simply by pressing any key from the keyboard your system becomes active again. Let us understand Adding New Font. Download the font from Internet using the Mozilla Firefox web browser. Double click the font that you have downloaded recently. The selected font will appear in the font viewer window. Now click on the install button to add the font in the list of existing fonts. Let us understand an application is frozen, system is hanged. Click on the dash icon. The dash window appears. Type system monitor in the search bar. 
Click on the system monitor icon to open it. The system monitor window will appear. Select the processors tab. Here you will find the list of active processors under the process name column. Select the process that you want to deactivate. Now click on the end process button at the bottom right corner of the window. The application gets closed. Let me tell you about onboard. Click on the dash icon. The dash window appears. Type onboard in the search bar. Click on its icon to open the application. The virtual keyboard will appear on the screen. Now open a new document in LibreOffice Writer. Start typing using the mouse or other pointing device by simply clicking the required key on the virtual keyboard. To quit the onboard keyboard, select the onboard icon located on the indicator area. Select the quit option. The on-screen keyboard and the onboard icon will disappear from the screen.